Who is that? Oh my god. But then you play like <laughs> Then you play like garbage. What's good, y'all? We back with another episode of Meet the Heat Fan Fridays, the series where I spotlight members of the great community that we call Heat Twitter and Heat Nation. And of course, at the end, we'll play some Heat trivia to see who the biggest fans are out there. But without further ado, let's get into the episode today. I'm with my boy, Shay. Shay, how you doing, let's my guy? Let's go. I'm all right, man. I've been feeling all right. You know, it's, it was a little painful, you know, ending that playoff run on that note, but... That's actually why I'm recording this episode today, because I just finished crying yesterday, so... That's why we do it. I finished crying like a week ago, bro. You know, <laughs> you should see the dents on my Hydro Flask bottle from the heat. Like literally, like, like if you, I don't even know if you can see it, but this dent right here and this <laughs> dent right here. That boy got that but, uh, Kawhi grip. Okay. <laughs> man, we need to get you on the team. Hey man, uh, listen, I'm, I might have the same Jermaine O'Neal uh, complex with Oreos are too delicious. And uh, I don't know if I can follow that heat uh, culture. I love Oreos. I'll give up some Oreos for a million dollars. Hey, if I'm, if I'm playing ball, you know, hey. Well, that's perfect, man. The first thing I wanted to get into is I wanted to ask you how you remember that we met. We definitely met at Bamford. Playing we, basketball. We met at Bamford. Man. I first knew you as Witness. Did not, did not know your name was Anthony for a while. Your name was just well, Witness. That's the for... origin of this channel, Witness Miami Sports, man. That's because of y'all. Y'all gave me that nickname. You and Andrew. Shout out Andrew. Shout out Caleb. K Money. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I even asked what your name was, but all of a sudden I hear people say, "Hey, Witness," because you always had the Witness shirt on. So I'm like, "All right, hey. that's his name." Back when I used to rock with LeBron. That's that's how back in the day we talking, man. Shay was the clay to my Curry. All right, you hey. know, which you want Oh put shit, it, man. hey. I do remember, I, I, I do remember one, like the last, the one of the last times I was out there, I do remember sending your shit. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you remember that. I think you confusing yourself with Caleb, man. I think that's what it is. What? <laughs> that's the whole point though, man, is we got to get you back out on the course, man. It's been a minute. It's been too long, man. I'm surrendering to my old age, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to fight. Uh, too many people in their 20s saying that, bro. <laughs> too many people. Hey, hey, 28 is like the new 40, bro. Like, that, shit, <laughs> that shit is what <laughs> weighing in on my knees like hey man well i'm glad to see that you're still in it still in my comments on every video disagreeing with every single take that i say i don't disagree but, with everything you say but sometimes it's i was like, a big dunking guy for a while and you were right you caught the hassan white side syndrome too you well, got you got that one also. no that's not what I, mm. we're not here for no white side slander not on this uh, <laughs> The first thing I want to ask you though, man, is I want some background on your Heat fandom. I've been a Heat fan since before d got drafted. But one of my favorite players, like back in those days was like Brian Grant. I, I don't even know if I still had the Brian Grant jersey. He was like small as hell, I was a little kid. d got drafted, he came up when I started like really being aware of the game. His career is literally my whole life. I used to have, when he was when he was with Converse, I had the shoes back in the day, always had a jersey. Uh oh, welcome to Big Baller Zone. My next question, which is your greatest memory as a Heat fan? I think because of the fact that I was there for it when we won the Eastern Conference Finals in 2006 against the Pistons, it was live. It was oh, live. First championship appearance in franchise history. That building yeah, must have been rocking. It was amazing. The confetti was falling down. Unfortunately, that precedes a very sad story about the finals. So I'm Trinidadian, right? And Trinidad made it to the World Cup for the first time ever. For the first time ever. Trinidad was lit. Like my parents travel a lot. Like, like over my lifetime, my parents traveled so much. They had to go to the World Cup. So my dad was a season ticket holder that year. I was like, but what about the finals? Like, uh, we had tickets to go all three home games, which all three home games we won, but we didn't go. And you could have been there for the arguably one of the greatest final performances of all time that game three like i remember seeing the graphics of like him and jordan and then him them comparing the numbers i'm like oh my god i miss these finals games <laughs> okay but, listen yeah. that is very sad that is extremely very sad but something that can potentially make it a little better is how did trinidad do in the world cup i mean i feel like as expected i don't think they did great i think like I, th I don't think they made it out of the group stage that, that's for sure shay the next thing i got for you man is who is your favorite player in heat history come on bro come on bro <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but you know, no, you know who it is. It. You know who it is. I'll sell you this one for cheap when we get Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> well, don't say <laughs> the guy I hope you're saying for the next question. But the question is, who is your least favorite player in Heat history? <laughs> and why is it Hassan Weiss? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Pat was like, you know what? I got I to gotta make a good business move. I got to give him the Supermax. D-Wade's been waiting for his money his whole <laughs> life. 
And then as soon as he can get it, it's like, you give it to this guy. He was the reason for D-Wade leaving. Think about it, Shay. He sent D-Wade to go get Jimmy, man. I, I, I guess that's true, maybe. Okay, it's it's enough that like you took the Supermax, you, you kind of made D-Wade leave, but then you play like shit? <laughs> Then you play like garbage afterward? Like, are you kidding? Yo, like, I can't forgive that. I can't forgive that. The last question I got for you, man, before we get to the trivia is give me your off-season expectations slash hopes. Well, I I'm really liking this Donovan Mitchell hype that's been building. You know, he's been having dinner with, uh, with what's his name? Derek Shipley, uh, Jimmy and Derek or Chris Shipley. Brickley. Chris Brickley. Was Chris Brickley, trainer. yeah, Derek Shipley. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I have no uh, idea. <laughs> when I'm gone. I think that's like a football player or something, but um, somebody made a case about why the Heat should bring in Kyrie. And it's like, now now that he's Muslim and like he can't eat during Ramadan, so it's like we have to deal with that. And that's during the playoffs. I'm not hating on Muslim people. There's not no Muslim hate. You know what? I don't know, Shay. You're the one who doesn't like Hassan Whiteside. So. Oh, nah, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't right. know. So now it's time to get into the trivia portion of the show. Let's go ahead and test Shay's heat knowledge. Question number one, and I should say though, the questions get harder as they go on, just so y'all know. So we starting easy with question one. What year was our first championship loss? It should be 2011. Of course it is, 2011. And you would have gotten a half a bonus point if you saw <laughs> JJ Barrett. Moving on, question number two. All right. Who has, whoops. Oh <laughs> who man. Who has the, okay, we. You know, I'm, I'm gonna act like that damn. Right. Question number two, who has the most assists in Miami Heat history? Damn, um, I, don't, I gotta think about that one. Can't give me Mario Chalmers, right? Could you be know, Mario uh, Chalmers. Could be Goran Dragic. Yeah, could be you know, Goran. Him and, him and your boy Whiteside, the pick and roll. Yeah, I don't want to think about that too much. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to go with with D-Wade. Of course it is D-Wade. <laughs> and you would have gotten a half a bonus point if you mentioned that Hardaway was second. Yeah, and I probably. totally didn't see the answer before. That was, all, <laughs> that was all knowledge. Come on now. Question number three. Who was the starting point guard for the Miami Heat in the 2011 playoff run? You, you want to say Mario, but because we didn't have Carlos Arroyo then, did we? Because I know we had Mike Bibby. Uh, I'm going to go with Mike Bibby. It is, yeah. of course, Mike Bibby. And you would have gotten a half a bonus point if you mentioned that D-Wade threw his ugly ass shoe the next year. Look at this. Wade takes Bibby's shoe and that's his former teammate. <laughs> Question number four. What year did LeBron murder Jason Terry? Defense. Wade from behind takes it away. Chalmers. Cole. James. Damn, what year was that? I want to say 2012, but I'm going to go 2013. 2013. Final answer? Final answer. You pulled that out your ass. Yeah! <laughs> and you would have got a half a bonus point if you said, I wonder if he's impressed by that. I wonder if Terry's impressed with that, Eric. <laughs> Last of the normal questions. Name two players from the inaugural Miami Heat team in 1988. <laughs> One for sure. Definitely has to be Ronnie Sykes. He's the first ever draft pick. Got to get him. Now a second one is uh, a little harder to come by. I want to pull a name out of my ass, but I have no idea like when he played. Like I want to throw out like Bimbo Coles or something like that. I, I I can't remember when Bimbo Coles played though. Like something in me wants to say like Bob McAdoo. Did he even play for us or was it just a coach? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was playing in like the 70s, bro. Well, you only got one, which is Ronnie Cycli. Uh, Other names you could have said was Kevin Edwards, Grant Long, Rory Sparrow. Grant what? Long, oh my God. Not a complete L because you are the first person in this series to actually get one of the bonus points because you did mention that Ronnie Cycli was the first ever draft pick in franchise history. I'll take that. Moving on to the next part of this trivia section, I like to call, who dis? So Shay, I ask you, man, who dis? Oh shit, <laughs> who is that? Is that Eddie Curry? It is Eddie Curry. Yeah. I'll give you that. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, I ask you, who dis? Oh, that's uh, Jason Capono. It is Jason Capono. Come on, man. Very good. It's a three, the money ball, Understand baby. Like that, another one I expect you to get. Who this? That's uh oh oh no yeah, long, long ass forehead. Does he have the same last name as the defensive player of the year? As the fraudulent defensive player of the year. All right, so Javante Smart then. There you go. Ah, okay. Question nine, the last of the who this I ask you, Shay. 
Who this? Who is that? Oh my god! I don't know, man. It's kind of blurry. I, don't, I, can, I can barely see his face. I don't think that would make a difference. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's Jamal Tinsley. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I didn't expect you to get this one. Of course, that is DeAndre Liggins. Chill. Does it ring a bell? No, it still doesn't even ring a bell. The last question we have, of course, is the lightning round. I'm gonna give you 45 seconds to name as many non-current white boy Miami Heat players you can. Of course, in 45 seconds, your time starts now. Oh, um, Europeans. All right, all right, all right. Goran Dragic, Zoran Dragic, uh, Justin Hamilton, Tyler Johnson. Kind uh, of, he's half. Okay. Yeah. Michael Doliak. There you go. Uh, Dan Marley. There you go. Chris Quinn. Uh-huh. Uh, what's his name? Josh Harrelson or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Josh yeah. McRoberts. Uh-huh. Jason Capono, technically. There you go. Jason Williams. I think that's it. Wow. Did I do good? Very, very impressive, Ron. Say, we have you at a uh-huh. score of... 18 and a half to move you all the way up to first place. Feels good. Feels good. I, I did as little preparation for that as possible. I'm now a leader. So, hey, I'll be, you know, people always gunning for number one. So uh, I can't wait to, to see the competition, how they fall short. All right, man. Anything else you want to shout out before we get out of here? I might be jumping back into my podcast, uh, Noble Citizens Podcast. So if y'all want to go ahead and visit me back in there. Everything's going to be linked down below. So whatever you shout out, man, y'all can check out yeah. down in the description. Yeah, we're in uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, you know, Noble Sisters Podcast. If you want to go check out our uh, our Instagram, it's the same name. If y'all enjoyed this episode with Shay on Meet the Heat Man Fridays, make sure y'all go check out his podcast too, because that's a great time as well. And of sure. course, if y'all want to be on one of these episodes of Meet the Heat Fan Fridays, I got all my socials in the description too. You can DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Reach out to me anyway. Leave a comment down below and maybe you could be on one of these one day. Other than that, I'll be back next week with some video. Probably another one of these. Probably another Wednesdays with Will. We'll see how we do them. But other than that, I'll see y'all later, man. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Pull up in the city trying to get that dead fast slash. Do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight. Right? Had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch don't offend me. Hmm.